Hello guys, in this tutorial we will be making a simple Java application to, in to encrypt and decrypt uh, a string using RSA, ECB for block mode and PKCS1 for padding. Um, I have created uh, an empty project with a single Java class RC RSA and um, let's start off by making a constructor public RSA without parameters. Uh, first thing we need to do is to uh, create our key pair which are the public key and the private key for that we need a key pair generator so generator equals to key pair generator dot get instance rsa and uh, the key pair generator will need to be initialized with uh, a key size for the RSA uh, ECB PKCS1 padding, there is a possibility to use either uh, 1024 bits key size or 2048 bits. In this example, we will go for uh, 1024. I will add a try catch block. And the uh, then we will need to once we initialize the generator we can have our key pair equals to uh, generator dot generate key pair we will put this uh, the key pair the public key and the private key in uh, class variables so let's go for private private key private key and public key then um, Let's set the private key equals to pair dot get private and the public key equals to pair dot get public and then uh, we are ready to encrypt our data. So first let's make a um, public string encrypt string uh, message browse exception um, and then first off we need to um, get the bytes from the string so byte array uh, message to bytes equals to message dot get bytes we don't need the uh, the char set <coughs> We need to create a new cipher, so cipher equals to cipher.get instance. For the instance, we will use RCA, ECB, and PKCS1 padding. The cipher needs to be initialized with a mode, so for the mode, we will go for cipher.encrypt mode and we will give it the public key that we have uh, generated. And then uh, we are ready to encrypt the message. So byte array encrypted bytes equals to our cipher dot do final message to bytes that we have uh, the message that we have converted to bytes. And then uh, if we need to return this as a string, I'll make a simple uh, method private string uh, encode it will encode some data uh, it's a byte array we'll encode it to a string so return base 64 dot get encoder dot in encode to a string and we'll encode the byte array we can return the encoded of the encrypted bytes and right here we have the encrypted message ready to go if we want to make the uh, decrypted decrypted message let's do the same thing right here string decrypt string encrypted message 
throws exception since we have encoded the message we need to decode it so as that we can use it so private uh, byte array decode a string message Let's use data instead return base 64 dot get decoder dot decode the data and um, we have a byte array encrypted bytes is the decode of the encrypted message we will use this uh, later on after we create our cipher so cipher cipher equals to cipher.get instance rsa ecb and pkcs1 padding the cipher needs to be initialized with the mode decrypt and we will need to provide the private key to decrypt the message it would return a byte array of the decrypted message equals to cipher .do final of the encrypted bytes that we have added right here and then we can return a new string based on the decrypted message let's add a char set of utf8 and um, we're ready to go let's test the application in main method rsa a equals to new rsa and let's add a try catch block since we have used throw exception ignored and rsa dot encrypt hello world let's put it in a string encrypted message and string decrypted message equals to rsa dot decrypt of the encrypted message and uh, let's print that out encrypted mm -hmm. encrypted message and decrypted decrypted message oh, right here all right so let's run our application and uh, here's the encrypted message from the hello world message and once we have decrypted it we are getting our message back in the next episode we will see how we can separate the public key from the private key so that we can use it in a server